Been impressive tonight. For limited opportunities. Drives it. Bontepelli has the set. And the skipper delivers it. Into the side. English. Up to get rid of the tackle. Settled on a bit of a sidewinder down there towards Bonapelli. Got rid of his man. It's that easy. Runs into an open goal. He's got a couple. One more disposal for his 100th game of 30 plus. This is part of his game that he really wanted to take great pride in. Oh, what a moment. The skipper stands tall. They need a mark. They need a goal. They need something miracle. Wise from Bonham Pelly and they get it. Okay, how many seconds left? He's copped it up to Bonham Pelly, hands it off to McRae, and McRae's kicked the most unlikely goal of the night. Didn't quite work. Crouch, Laird, will he go for home from there? Lines them up and splits the middle. Two in a row, pros. Martin and Hibbelberg go out of this time, and Laird gets the clearance of sorts. He gave it to Crouch, got it back again. He fumbled it to Crouch, he gave it back again. Oh, boys. Made it tough for Laird. Laird at ground level. Kelly attacks the footy hard, but Laird collars him. He's going to be part of the future of this club without question. That's a good tackle. He's in trouble. To really put this comeback to bed from the pocket in front of the hill. Does just that. Crow should be home now. And Schoenberg in straight lines gets it back from Miller. They should score. They should score a goal. And Led does. Ultra impressive. Good ball back in, looking for Dangerfield, knocked away by Mills, got the give and go back from Kennedy to thread the needle, Franklin! Cal Mills. Can the skipper ignite something here? I reckon he has. Braden Campbell, 20 year old. Good young crop of the Swans and that's a great fight by Mills. Time to assess through the middle, take their pick, in the end McDonald just got away from him, McCartan squeezes out to Rock. here's the first real opportunity for Callum Mills, and the Sydney Swans hit the scoreboard. They try and trim that margin back below 30 points, heading into the final term. The captain today, Callum Mills, after the siren, makes no mistake. Seemed to be a confidence player, and he's feeling it in the first half. Mills launches at it. Dangerfield looking for his first. Something he's wanted. Gives it off to Cameron. Very, very unselfish. Cameron unloads. Got it. Look at him celebrate this. More than capable. Can he match what Johnson did in the other pocket at the other end a minute ago? He's going to go to the regulation drop part. Have a look at that. Mills in the contest, so it's close. Very dangerous inside 50. Cameron with the party trick to pick it up. We talk about his snapping, Jeremy Cameron! <laughs> what a star this man is! Sean Higgins to Selwood to Jeremy Cameron. At two extended periods out of the game. Got close to the man of the mark. Look at that kick, Jeremy Cameron! That run from Stengel. Looking for Cameron. Hawkins will provide a screen. Jeremy Cameron, second attempt, got it! Four goals for Cameron, strap yourself in. We've got a belter at the MCG. De Koning out the back, Cameron one-on-one -on -one with Howe. Big contest coming up, Jez has got five. Dalhouse going to get around Crainer. Jeremy Cameron's going to get it. Mark's going to be paid. No bigger kick than this you suspect in his career. Jeremy Cameron for goal number six. He's got six. In the offseason, has joined the Blues, of course. There's still no Nat Fife, and today, no David Mundy. So, Ian Brayshaw, critical in the middle. Darcy had his way and flicked the hand pass close to the line, and Brayshaw nabs it. With the contest, but Sarong cuts it off. Brayshaw got some class, and they should finish with a shot at Golden Meek. 
with the hands of Fisher and well tackled this Cripps. The Dockers are coming out with all the answers. Brayshaw with the ball at his feet. Brody with a good handle. Away to Walker. Now to Brayshaw. He's been clamped all night, but he unleashes the shackles just at the right time. Cox didn't give away a free kick. Front and centre. Fisher immediately tackled Brayshaw. Carrying an enormous amount of ground. And come up with another big play. Goes to Tucker. Just subbed onto the ground. Trying to get towards Lobb. And Collier. Slick hands in the square. Back for Brayshaw. Body on the line. So good. Oh! Not one offering, really. A late one from Petrarca, and that's all there was. And a man of Pickett's talents able to make it work. 48 metre kick. That's on target. That's beautiful. Magnificent. Nothing getting any better than that. Just a beautifully weighted kick, and just in a time of need. Back to 14 points. Gorn to Petrarca. He fends off and goes. And again, they're out the front, Melbourne. Long, deep ball. Petrarca really dangerous here. Off a step, Christian Petrarca, bang! On the rebound, Taylor to try and save the day. Now Petrarca's got space, that spells danger. He was always going to kick his second, he's got it. Floated over the top for Jordan, feeds it inside to Petrarca, gets rid of Broad, steps inside 50, kick off line, might work out for Pickett. That's a blasted kick, full eligible for the uprising start this year. And that was an epic win to Petrarca. The set of the last title. Great kick. Super kick. Elevated to the co-captaincy for the Gold Coast Suns. From outside 50, Tuke Miller is leading the way. Inside forward 50. Weller's kick, looking for Miller. Stands tall, takes off, does the co-captain. Has a bounce, drives it into the pocket and Rankin's on the end of it. For Collingwood with 29 wits. The two captains. Now that's what you call a captain's goal. The number one at the Gold Coast Suns. And that should come back on the breeze a little if it needs to. It didn't need to. And Tuke Miller hits the scoreboard. McDonald intercepted by Miller. Miller for goal. Game 149. His 150th will be some celebration up here next week. Pulls the kick late, and Miller read that to perfection. Ruled out. Good smother. Oh. Opportunity to the coach to swallow. Miller should thread it through. Suddenly a couple of goals and a glimmer of hope for the Suns. Trying to find the balance between getting an opportunity in the centre bounce. Jared and playing at half forward. Yeah, I like his year. I think he's uh, shown a lot of talent. Getting better every day. Oh, sorry, every year. And uh, there's Tuke. There's again. Tuke. Can't keep a good man down for too long. And Tuke gets in on the party. And that's a sign to warm Carlton Hearts. Chera sweeps a handball forward. Can they finish? Cripps from 52. Over the top. And bounces it through. McGovern will waste no time. Sizzles a kick. Cutting across the Mackay lead is Cripps. 45 out. Perfect. Bouncing ball. Controlled it well. Durden Fogarty. Cripps. Can he score another? Of course he can. Tricky bounce for plenty. Martin gets through a couple. Now to Cripps. Can Patrick Cripps get the goal the Blues need? He can. Needed the response. Blues got it. Cripps delivers. Charlie Curnow starting his approach deep in the square. McCartan trying to work him under the footy. Silvani out the back. Little opportunity. Cripps left footer got it. Carlton's first. Feed Motlock couldn't quite. Bouncing ball. Nunes back to Cottrell. Might just pull the trigger. Couldn't quite. Cripps the skipper onto the left. Outstanding. <laughs> D left to muster up a 50 metre goal. Yes, is the definitive answer. Comfortably for the Blues. He's Neil. Swings on to his right boot. That's two goals a piece in the game. No clear. The rest of it. Stringer work on the ball. 
taken over a bit like in there. Has he ever? Bangs it inside 50 for Danaher. Great kick. Good contest. Neil. He's had a dominant day. Lucky Neil. And he's iced the game for the Brisbane Lions. It was a clear oh. call. G. Parfit did well, getting his man out of the way. And Snarkle win was caught in a one arm tackle. And Lockie Neal Damn. made it work for him. Gives it some hang time. Mixed day. Rather Danaher brought it to ground level. Now Neil weaving his way through. Advantage. Oh. Thanks very much as the sun switched off. Lockie Neal, too clever for everyone. The fist of four. And it broke into space for the Swans. Can they get the shot away? No, they can't. Coming from the blind side and getting rewarded for that tackle. Fantastic effort from the Lions and perhaps they couldn't get the kick. Tough ball to win at ground level. Plenty of Lions there. And Lockie Neal to steady things for his team. He snuck that one home. The stars are shining at the SCG on a Sunday. Back to back goals for the Eagles. And they were able to do the quick reply, Brisbane. And they burst out of the centre again. Conference this week, and he was asked about his improvement. He said, simple fitness. I'm the fittest I have ever been before. Quite smartly. All the players saying, beauty, Newt. Well done. And four straight to one five in this quarter for the Hawks as Neil launches long. I don't think anyone got it. To win this climb stoppage. Jackson, English. Stripped of it, Bontempelli. Donald Witz. Oliver. He breaks out of a tackle oh. and he oh. hurts him. And what they do, Melbourne. Here they go again, Oliver on hands and knees. Look at that. Yeah, that territory dominance. 60 inside 50s to 35. Oliver spins away from traffic. Dance step was nice. Oliver, he wants to have a dance too. And he finds Petrarca. Desire and determination. Born to Oliver. To Petrarca sliding, regathering back to Oliver. Opportunity's been the sub so many times this year. <laughs> Out of the middle, he has 20 now, Oliver. Brown looks about, there's only two demons going back. One is Jackson, the other is Fritch. Towards half forward, Oliver creeps inside, 50 marks. Hasn't kicked a goal since Queen's birthday, footy against the Pies. It's an enormous amount of the football. This brings the demons back to within three points. Great finish.